Alright guys, welcome to episode 6 of Men of Steel, with me, Frankie Goes to Jefferwood. I assure you, fuck all has happened since I last saw you. I finished the video just before kickoff against Royston, all that's happened is that I've picked my team. For those who need a refresher, we finished 5th, we somehow, somehow snuck into the playoff places, and we're playing Royston, who finished 2nd in the English Southern League 1st Division Central. So let's get straight into the match. As you might remember as well, a few of our players might well be playing with their heads turned today. Lee Hendry has got his eyes on retirement. Brandon Potts is wanted by a few different clubs. Michael Towie is sort of retiring, but will still be available for us, I think. He is retiring from professional football, but not from semi-professional football, so we should be okay. And Lee Cooksey is considering his options after bids from Biggle Suede and Mangotsfield. Saying that, it seems daft to change a winning team. So those players are all still in there. We've still got the precarious centre-back partnership of Hadfield and Cooksey. The only change I've made, Jamie Cheatham, has been the weak link for the last few matches when we've played quite well. So making his full debut on this of all days is Alex East. Future captain Alex East. Just turned 17, uh, just yesterday, turned 17. He's going to be so good. Look at these mental stats. I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. He has got a slight case of ADD, but we can sort that out. He's going to be a world beater. So without further ado, let's get to the match. Royston will be lining up with a 4-4-2 that we also played against in our last match. And we did quite well. We just snuck away with a 2-1 win. Oh, why do I have to bring this up? This could be the last time we see Lee Hendry and Michael Towie. No, that's wrong. In a Sheffield shirt. Well, I don't know how it works, do I? Do you have any special plans to give them an appropriate send-off? I couldn't speak more highly of him. They have done a, a very good job. Here we go. Big Ronnie. He always wants me to shout at people. I'm not going to listen to him today. I'm going to passionately... Oh, I want to passionately say good luck, but that's not an option. So... <laughs> I'm going to passionately let them know what they already know. They're in pretty good form. I don't need to pick them up in any major way. But I'm going to say we will progress with a win. So go out and impress me. Baldrick, Baldrick, love that. Here we go then. The playoff semi-final in our first season. Can we, can we achieve a fairly remarkable promotion considering the season we've had? Would be a bit of a turn up. Here is the first highlight, and it's mm, it's looking like it might go to Royston. It's a ball into the far post, but Baldrick plucks it out of the air, just like he did in the last match. Good lad, Baldrick. Royston happy to just keep keep possession here. We might need to close them down a bit more in a little while, but for now, we just need to see what they're made of. We've no idea what Royston like. That's a dangerous-looking ball. Hadfield gets it away. Here comes Tuck. Now Holmes crosses in for Williams in all sorts of space. Header's got no power on it though, and Baldrick gets there. Baldrick looks really up for this. Very pleased to him. Well, he looks normal apparently, but I think he looks up for it. Long throw for Royston. Baldrick comes and collects it, you see? Here we go. Brandon Potts hits it over the top for Ollie Ryan. Ollie Ryan tries the chip. Ollie Ryan's done it! <laughs> Ollie Ryan, is he lobbed the keeper from 20 odd yards? His 17th goal of the season. What a goal that was. Potts. Great little volley over the top. Ryan took it down with two touches. And just lobbed it. Lobbed it over the keeper into the net. Ollie Ryan. You cocky little shit. But you brilliant bastard. Royston might come back at us straight away though. I'm not a fan of that idea. Let's get it back. Holmes. He's drawn Hadfield out of position. He puts it through for Cohen. And Cohen's got one back. It's one all in the playoff semi-final. Look at this. Holmes drew Hadfield out of position. Slid it through for Cohen. Fair enough. Simple finish. Our two centre-backs making us proud yet again. Here comes Holmes for them. Got to keep an eye on Holmes. He's drifting into the middle. I don't like it. Sampaio gets it back. But just gives it away again. We've got to start doing more than this. Hendry, good crossfield ball to Thomas. Here's Gary Thomas. Go on, Gary. He's been brilliant the last couple of games, Gary Thomas. All eyes are on him today. 
Alex Eats puts it through and Ollie Ryan can't finish it with any sort of power anyway. Okay, we're coming up to half time. I think it's just going to stay level. It is, it's half time. To be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. Not in Hadfield, who's been the worst player on the team. I expect it from him. I've sort of come to expect it from Sam Pio. I definitely expect it from Cooksey. Gary Thomas, only just ahead of him. Michael Towie, well, sort of expect it from you as well. But Gary Thomas, only just ahead of this rabble on average score. What's going on, mate? I thought you were turning up for the big games. I thought that was what was happening. I'm just going to tell him to keep going and the result will come. You wouldn't know it from the highlights, but we have been the dominant team looking at this. We've had slightly more possession, more passes completed, more chances, more shots. Gary Thomas is getting worse. I don't know how much longer I can keep him on. Mind you, at this point, it also comes down to who can take a penalty. And... He can't. Yeah, so he's... <laughs> he's very, very likely to go off. No one else can, to be fair, but... Apart from Lee Hendry and Ollie Ryan, to an extent. But, yeah, Gary Thomas is in danger of coming off and finishing his season on a low. Not happy with him at all. I'm going to keep him on for now. Come on, 18 minutes left. One goal. That's all we need. Here come Royston. Lee Hendry wins the ball. Good lad. Gets it to Gary Thomas. What can he do? Go on, prove me right. Prove it was a good decision to keep you on. Michael Towie. What can he do? Lee Hendry. Ollie Ryan. Patient build-up. I like it. Hendry to Ryan. Oh, he threads it through for Brandon Potts. And it's Lee Hendry. Oh, Lee Hendry's denied by Elliot. That would have been a brilliant way to win it. <laughs> Go on, Lee. He swings the corner in to the centre. It's way as far as Alex East, who I might take off for Jamie Cheatham in a sec. Here's Michael Towie. Lee Hendry. Brandon Potts. Lee Hendry. Ah, they've given it away. And there might be a counter-attack on for Royston. Here comes Williams. Here comes Cohen, the score of their first goal. Back to Williams. Oh, he's blasted it wide. No problem. Okay. There's going to be at least one change. I'm going to bring off Alex East. It's got to happen. Jamie Cheatham's coming on. East isn't fully fit and he's slightly younger. That's literally the only reason he's coming off. I feel like Gary Thomas could still step up, whereas East would struggle. Jamie Cheatham comes on, and for now, it stays like that. Okay, we've got one minute of injury time to go. We're 91 minutes deep, and it's 1-1. We've got a highlight, it looks like, but it could just be a long, drawn-out final whistle before extra time. Here comes Brandon Potts, though. Here comes Ollie Ryan. Surely not. Ollie, Ollie Ryan scored! <laughs> Ollie Ryan scored! Ollie Ryan! He's put us into the final. Surely he's put us into the final. Wait. Before we start celebrating, chuck everyone back. Chuck it all back. My God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm finding myself in this situation a lot. Right. Highly structured, defensive, waste time, stick to positions, be more disciplined. Thomas to Brandon Potts with another assist. And Ryan just... Fucking rifled it in off the bar. Ollie Ryan. Is he a big game player? I don't know. He's our top scorer this season. But to be honest, he's still sort of disappointed me. Despite getting 18 goals so far. Appleby. Surely not. Yes, there we go. Sheffield go through to the final. The Royston players fall to the ground. Fall to the pitch in tears. The Sheffield boys have done it. It's Ollie Ryan who saved the day. Two goals. One in the first half, one in the second. I tell you what, 92nd minute. We literally had about 40 seconds, 30, 40 seconds on the clock. And he's bloody won it for us. Elsewhere then. Wins for Thurrock, Salisbury, Totten, Lewes, Cray, Beaconsfield, Ware, Aylesbury, Rugby, Taunton, Tooting and Mitcham. And the mighty Sheffield FC. So here we go for the playoff final draw. Uh, there's going to be six playoff finals. Because, you know, that's just this league. So here we go. Cray 
We'll play Sheffield. We're playing Cray. Okay. Elsewhere, Lewes, Aylesbury, Beaconsfield, Thurrock, Totten, Taunton, Salisbury against Tooting and Mitcham. Cray against Sheffield. How did you do this season, Cray? Cray finished, let's be fair, a distant second to Greenwich, who went up as champions. They did finish second, as did Royston. So, bearing that in mind, second place teams do not frighten us at the minute. We have just beaten Royston in the very last minute of the game. We can beat Cray. I am confident we can beat Cray and we can get promoted. Oh, I'm tense. I'm very, very tense at the minute. <laughs> and I can just feel it. Everything is going our way. Look at this. Brandon Potts has decided to turn down the chance to leave Sheffield. He's rejected offers from two teams to stay with us. Our best player of the season. And I feel like regardless of what happens in the playoff final, we'll get rid of a lot of the shit players this summer. We'll get a bit of our budget back and we'll tie Brandon Potts onto a proper deal. I can't wait. You know what, I've always said too much of a feel-good atmosphere can be to the detriment of a football club. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we convinced Brandon Potts to stay. Very happy with that. We also convinced Cooksey to stay. I don't know who convinced him exactly, but I'd like a quiet word in my office. I've just been doing a bit of snooping because Jim McBride says we should be focusing on defensive positioning because they're so good in attack. So I thought, oh, I wonder who they've got in attack. They must be quite good. Danny Haynes, a recognisable player at this fucking level. Do not worry about it. Their key player, Danny Haynes, they've actually got a decent player who I would be scared of. He's bloody injured. He's out for two to three months. Oh, this, this feels too good now. This feels too promising. I feel like I'm being lured into a trap. Ronnie's gone around telling everyone he feels like it would be a good idea if I hold a team meeting to make or break this fucking final. Cheers, Ronnie. If it goes well, we might be alright, but if it doesn't... You see, I still don't know how much I trust those pre-season expectations. We were expected to finish 7th. The board wanted mid-table, though. They wanted... Was it mid-table or top half? It was one of the two. I feel like... The board expectations combined with the fact that everyone seems to look proud of our league position means that we are punching above our weight. We don't want to pile the pressure on. We don't want to say, you need to go out there and win it. Um, <laughs> shit. Fucking hell. Right, I'm going to take the pessimistic option. I'm going to calmly say... We've done really well to reach the playoff final. Don't be too disappointed. I hate that I'm going with that option, but I feel like it's the only one they're going to respond to. Yes! Oh, thank fuck. Right. I've not ruined it before the game's even started. That is step one. Step two is to actually win the game. So, you know. <laughs> Shit. Oh, so here we go. The biggest match of the season. Cray against Sheffield. In the playoff final. We could win promotion. We could get just stamped right back down to earth. Um, and I'm very anxious to find out which of those it's going to be. We are playing with an unchanged team. From the team that beat Royston in the semi-finals. I did consider taking Alex East back out for Jamie Cheatham. But... To be honest, I don't think there's much difference in them. And I think Alex East just edges it in terms of his ability. Just as a person, not even a player. I've said before, he can't really play football. He can dribble a bit, he can pass a bit. But that's about it. But it's these stats that we're going to need. It's, the, it's this mental stability that's going to drag us through. So he starts on the right wing ahead of Jamie Cheatham. I've told him to just keep going, keep that momentum from the last match, especially bloody Ollie Ryan. I've told all of them I've got faith in them, and for the vast majority of cases, that is not true at all. But I do think they might be able to do a job here. Oh, I hope they can do a job here. 
Okay, I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on the match stats. Because Cray are expected to absolutely dominate us. But saying that, we are five minutes away from half time and nothing has happened yet. Ah, Cray have just started getting the ascendancy. Going to go defensive just to see us out to half time. Okay, it is half time. And we've learned precisely fuck all. So that, that was a very, very, very helpful half of football. Thank you. Okay, we've reverted to the standard mentality that's suited us so well in these last few games. And I'm going to tell them we can still come out of this match with a win. They seem, uh, some of them seem pretty happy. Here we go, second half. It is a big 45 virtual minutes. Okay, Lee Hendry has picked up a book in and he's given away a free kick. And here is the first highlight. Osifua loses it to Gary Thomas. Gary Thomas hits it ahead of Ollie Ryan. Ollie Ryan. He's got one defender to beat. He goes around him. He's got someone in the middle. Who is it? It's Gary Thomas. Gary Thomas is at the far post and he's scored. <laughs> Gary Thomas. Just when he thought he was losing that late season form. He turns up at the back post. Ollie Ryan did brilliantly just to hold it up. Took a couple of defenders out of the middle. Gary Thomas was all on his own. He just tapped it in. And we are winning in the playoff final with half an hour to go now. Right. I don't want to make any changes. Because they've not had a highlight yet. Yes, they've got more possession. Yes, they've had more shots. But they've not had a good enough chance to actually warrant a highlight in 76 minutes. Please don't let this be the highlight. <laughs> Not just after I've said that. Oh, don't be that game. Adai to Byron. He spreads it wide to Osifua. We cross it in and Baldrick collects it. We've got Baldrick and Gold just sweeping up all the crosses. Could it actually be our highlight? East hits it ahead of Ollie Ryan. Holy shit, Ollie Ryan can't beat White in the goal. Okay, 12 and a half minutes to go. So we are promoted <laughs> somehow okay we've got eight minutes to go i am going to tell us to go defensive but that's all i'm doing at the minute i don't want to rock the boat six minutes to go here's gary thomas brandon Potts to lee hendry puts it through for alex east alex east has scored <laughs> the academy graduate alex east who made his full debut in the playoff semi-final has made it 2-0 in the playoff final and I think we're going up we've got just under six minutes to go and I think we're fucking going up what is happening Hatfield's got a seven they've got a free kick Powell hits it Powell hits it wide 20 seconds Baldrick, run down that fucking clock. He has done. Very well done. Sheffield have won. Sheffield are going up. How has this happened? <laughs> well, what a time for everyone to look confident. It's fucking over. We've won. We've, we've gone up. I am delighted. Obviously. Obviously I'm delighted. Where has this late season form come from? I'll tell you where it's come from, for the large part, Gary Thomas. I know he didn't really perform in the playoff semi-final, but we would have got nowhere near the playoff semi-final if he hadn't shown up for the last two league games. I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe we've got promoted through the playoffs. Through the playoffs as well. There it is. There's the news item I've been waiting for, just in case this league threw me another fucking curveball and I had another match to play. But no, Sheffield have won promotion to the English Regional Premier Divisions. Jeffers leads Sheffield to promotion. Oh, that's all I wanted from this series. I wanted to see that. A fan spokesperson announced that Jeffers was undoubtedly one of the best managers around. <laughs> yep. And are <laughs> desperately hoping that he stays with the club for years to come. Club favourite Steve Woolley. Currently play oh currently playing for workshop. Unlucky mate.
Steve Woolley has declared that he had not expected the club to be promoted and was pleasantly surprised. Is that all we get, Steve? Pleasantly surprised? Everyone else is delighted. Let's have a look at social media. We've done it. Sheffield are going up. Great day for the club. We're going up. Where, where's the negative one? I know there's a negative one. Just show me it. And we've had better games. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking come on, Glenn. Are you sick? That might be his last game. You, you don't need to worry about it anymore. He might be fucking retiring. A good performance cap by a goal. Well done, East. I agree. Well done, East. What a game it was for Alex East. Brandon Potts has overwhelmingly won the fans' player of the season with 50% of the votes. He's had a brilliant season, Potts. He's been consistently one of the best players. Very, very pleased for him. Ollie Ryan came second with Jamie Cheatham in third. That's surprising. Goal of the season was Brandon Potts against Spalding in November. Go on then. Let's have a cheeky look. Okay, this was goal of the season. So Gary Thomas nicks inside to Dell. Laid it off. Brandon Potts just leathers it. Absolutely leathers it into the left-hand side of the goal. To be honest, I, I preferred to that goal any of the goals you've seen in this particular video so far. All of those goals were just the best goals of the season. My God. Especially that chip from Ollie Ryan. Cocky bastard. Leroy Jennings is signing of the season and Brandon Potts also wins young player of the season. Good lad. Let's quickly run through some stats as well. So Ollie Ryan was the top scorer with 18 goals. Good lad, Ollie. Highest average rating, of course, Brandon Potts with 7.04. He also got the most assists with 10. Best pass completion. This is this has been there pretty much throughout the whole season because I've not used him that much. Has been Dominic Dell with 88%. Kind of a shitty striker, but can't argue with that. Best pass completion of the season. Most player of the match awards was shared between Ollie Ryan, Brandon Potts and Gary Thomas, rightly so. Most yellow cards was Daniel Smalley. And most red cards, Michael Towie, Lee Hendry and Luke Ainscoff. Well, it's the day I've been dreading. Lee Hendry has come to a final decision and it is the wrong one. He's hanging up his boots. He is retiring this summer. I'm gutted, to be honest with you, because he is, he is still a very good player for this level. But we will try and keep him on as a coach. I will let you know how that goes next episode. But yeah, Lee Hendry will not be playing for Sheffield FC next season disappointed we'll have to try and bring in another star name i don't know who i mean i've heard danny haynes is sort of circulating around the, <laughs> this level so maybe we'll give him a call i don't know i don't know what's going to happen it's going to be a very very busy summer let's we'll have a quick look around the world before i go arsenal have won the premier league finally just beating tottenham to it as well so that'll be that'll be nice for him southampton finished 15th after a Fucking miraculous escape. Lukaku and Giroud. Freddie Adu will love that. Lukaku and Giroud finished joint top scorer of the Premier League. Morgan Schneiderlin got the most assists. He got more than Juan Mata and Kevin De Bruyne. Interesting. I never really think of him as much of an assister, but he's had a good season by the looks of it. It's as you'd expect in La Liga. Real Madrid comfortably beat Barcelona. Atletico Madrid in third and Sevilla in fourth. Lionel Messi finally broke onto the top three goal scorers in the league. Just pipping Samir Nasri to that particular honour. Bayern Munich won the Bundesliga with Dortmund coming just behind. A German team came third just ahead of Wolfsburg with Hamburg and Leipzig just sneaking into Europe as well. Juve shockingly won the Serie A, followed by Roma, Inter, Napoli, AC Milan and Torino. Joe Hart's Torino. And Joe Hart looks like he had a bloody good season as well, conceding 29 in 40, 15 clean sheets. Yeah, good solid season, Joe Hart. Maybe he'll go back to Man City, a changed man. Good on him. And out of nowhere, Paris Saint-Germain came out to win Ligue 1 ahead of Monaco. So good for them. No surprises there. But that's where I'm going to leave this video, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Gresley went up as champions. 
and fifth place Sheffield crept into the playoffs, took the world by storm, sort of, and just snuck to promotion behind everyone's backs. I, I still cannot believe how well this video has gone. It's beyond me. But, yeah, it might be a few days until I get another video out. It's going to be a very long summer. I'm going to try and basically overhaul the squad. I'm going to try and use the youth players as best I can. But I, I am quite looking forward to getting some fresh blood in. There will also be quite a lot of outgoings. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for next season. We're going up. But if you have enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this season, then please do remember to like and subscribe. Also leave me a comment as well if you would. I'm still looking for constructive feedback on how I can make these videos better. And go and watch Freddy Adu's save where he has taken over Arsenal. That's a very, very good watch as well. And he's also just brought out a fantasy draft video where he takes on the avatar of Dr. Benji and plays a game against him. It's very good, so go check both of those things out. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed these videos so far. I will see you next season. Bye.